Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here, welcome back to Union Cross. So, today we're going to be doing the Phil's Cup on my free-to-play account, and I would have done this a lot sooner, but what ended up happening was, uh, last night I had that update video after the stream, and then I crashed, woke up, pretty much was out all day taking care of everything, came back, I was supposed to set up this room for, uh, the Christmas stream, and having all this thing set up, if you can see, everything's pushed back, there might be an echo, I apologize if the sound quality is terrible, but yeah, I had a lot planned and not enough time, especially for this video but the video is gonna be up now so hopefully you guys don't mind that it's near the next day already it's going to be technically the next day by the time you guys watch this but uh, hopefully it's just not too late I know most of you guys already passed it a lot of you guys already did a lot of stuff to pass it as well which I want to talk about um, it's the Phil's event for the Phil's the Phil's Cup for 3,000 jewels so if you're spending jewels to pass this you basically kind of did nothing because um, what you're making powerful is your tier 4s or lower and you really don't want to waste skills on them. You really don't want to waste uh, Mickey and Brooms. <laughs> you don't want to waste anything to really pass this. Just try to pass it. If you can, you're good. If you can't pass it, don't worry about it. You don't want to spend, pull, or waste any skills to do this kind of event. This event is just to do as much as you can and get what you can out of it. So, we're going to see how far I can go with my free-to-play account. Uh, I don't have much, but we'll see how much I have to use here. I know a lot of you guys already did your own runs a lot of people already posted videos i haven't seen anything i'm going to this blind i don't know what's good i know what tier threes are good and what tier fours are good but we'll see as we go guys so let's go for this first one off the bat special attacks allowed only for medals with an sp attack bonus of value for less so yeah and no borrowed medals so i gotta make a whole keyblade for this is gonna be the condition all the way uh after i make my keyblade i'll come right back all right, so here's the setup that I'm going to start off with. And as we go, I'm going to get a little bit better and better and better because I know this is not going to be good enough to go through the whole thing. I just grabbed the Keyblade. Multipliers aren't too high. It's not crazy. It's nothing spectacular. I just want to see how much I need to push myself to go through this. So this is not going to be an event that's really good for new players. If you're new, you're kind of screwed. If you're not new, you're okay. Um, everything I have on here has SP Gauge 1. My times 1 buffers are from the organization event. It costs 0 SP, gives me 1 strength, does a little bit of damage, it might do something here. What are those guys? Oh, do you guys see that? Those guys are awesome. They look like something from like Nightmare Before Christmas. I love it. I love it. But as you guys can see, everything I have on here has an SP gauge of some sort because uh, if we don't have SP Restore, we're kind of screwed. The only SP Restore I think we have available is Iago and Chippendale. And again, Iago is RNG based and Chippendale is not around anymore. So, at least it's continue, uh, complete without having to continue. So if you have a pet rank 5, uh, you can do this and second chance. But again, don't waste skills if you don't have to. But you can bring in a metal that's not a tier 4 and use a second chance skill. It will still activate. But there we go, our first skip ticket plus. There was an error in the notice. They don't actually give you all rewards. So don't use your skip tickets thinking you're going to pass one of these and get all three mickey heads completed you're not they have to fix that all right round two this is going to be all 10 i'm going to do the first 10 in this video and then the last find the last video because i'm pretty sure that video is going to take forever and i don't want one big 30 minute video so auto battle with this setup the setup is pretty straightforward again this was a farmable halloween event right here and the other one was just the organization that passed by my side B is guilted but it is a really good guilted organization member this guy's fully guilted we do have the destroyed behemoth as well or destroyer behemoth that's really good you guys can use um, mostly here i don't have to use all these yet but i'm gonna let the full rotation go and by the way have you noticed my avatar i kind of went crazy uh christmas theme on it i think it looks amazing i was like oh bought the mickey thing i have 30 skill perk on that by the way which is so nice if you guys don't know already uh the king mickey outfits the earring has plus six skill perk so it will help a lot all right quest number three quest number three still level one uh low level enemies so not too bad we should be okay until like probably quest 10 plus because level 300 enemies tier fours are still strong tier threes that are still strong as long as you guys have a couple buffs you should be okay uh i, I wonder when this can get ridiculously hard I know that my medals do have extra attack, but extra attack on that medal wasn't too hard. We had so many reroll chances on that, and it's giving me that two strength, uh, not two strength, but two attribute up, which is really good. It also does another thing as well. I think some defense. I'm pretty sure. Let me check that. 
Raises PSM strength by one tier, removes target status effects. So yeah, yeah. He has to be in the beginning of the Keyblade, so you don't take away any anyone's buffs if you're doing debuffs. Or sorry, anyone's debuffs. So, so far so good. That is quest number three, and we got seven more to go in this video. Which is going to be pretty good, I think. It's not going to be too hard to go from between one and ten. Especially with this simple setup. I could be biting my, my tongue right now. I, I have a feeling when we hit quest nine, I'm going to be like, oh, okay, this setup's not good enough. But we'll see. Let's keep going through this. Number four. We're at quest number four now. Complete without having continue. Is this going to be complete without having continue all the way? If it is, this is going to be great. Uh, I'm scared of what's going to happen once it does get challenging. Like I said, as we go higher. But yeah. So, so far, uh, the two attribute up. So in this case, two speed and two power. Because Psyx B and Twilight Thorn are my MVPs at the moment. If I was using Twilight Thorn and Destroyer Behemoth, that would work as well. But I haven't guilted my Destroyer Behemoth, so I can't really use that option right now. So I'm using Psyx B instead. But Destroyer Behemoth will do just as much damage. Maybe a little bit less, but not that bad. And of course, I have my Defense Medal up for grabs on the pet slot. Which is not a good idea. You should actually be putting your most powerful metal on the pet slot. And then making a Keyblade setup with other metals that have different attributes on, on another setup. Uh, I'll explain it as we go. As we get higher, I'll change it around. Pet slot's going to be very, very important. Hey, we got a magic broom. That's awesome. All right, switching the strategy up. I'm going to use something like this. I want to go in with different strategies as we go, making them stronger, weaker. Whatever happens, happens. I want to use kind of use all my medals because we never get to use these medals. It's kind of like a, a refresher, not being super OP and going back to the times when you really had to think about your setup. So with this setup right here, I'm actually going to go with... Uh, a little bit different this is risky i can only activate my halloween metal here once because the guy on the left has a counter on his head so we're going to tap on the cannon lucifer gives me two strength but lowers my defense by two and that's why i'm not fully activating my whole setup so what's going to end up doing happening here is that i'm going to have enough power to hopefully wipe out the left guy and then deal with the cannon so let's see what happens hopefully this is a one shot it is a one shot we don't have to deal with that but now we got to deal with the cannon and I'm going to pop some Nova here and let Sykes B go on ham mode with this guy. Okay, Nova wasn't even needed. There we go. That's another strategy. That worked out pretty good. I do have four defense down, so I could not make a two turn here. If I had second chance, sure. But I don't want to take away some buffs yet. Just yet. Again, I'm just going to do a little bit different strategies here and there and see what we can do. But now we're going to quest six. All right, quest six, Shadow Magician and... I believe he's going to have friends with them. This is going to be a tricky one. Let's see what happens. I don't know yet. I'm going to go into the same setup. If I have to change it, I'll change it. Take away auto power. So if we have a poison archer. I could activate both of my abilities right now. I'm going to get hit with poison, which is fine. Well, it's not fine, but uh, let's see what happens. I'm not trying to two turn these guys. I'm trying to try to one turn them. So the, the attack is not that bad. So now my times 2 buffer is going to hit the single target. Not activating that one. Defense is going to activate that one. Twilight Thorn, Thorn might one shot this guy. Yes. And Psyx B goes ham again. So the setup, to, uh, the setup seems to be working really nice. Uh, as long as the enemy with the counter doesn't one shot me. I'm in the clear. For now anyway. So that is what? Quest number 6. Let's go to quest number 7. All right, round seven is the Fat Bandit. Let's go into the Fat Bandit round. I'm pretty sure he's going to have enemies with them. Uh, but let's try to use the same setup again. If not, I'll switch it. So what do we got here? We got enemies with three counters on their heads. I love these guys, by the way. They look absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go for a full buff here. But I can't use my Twilight Thorn on the main guy. I'm going to use my Twilight Thorn on one of the little guys. But issue is... Oh, okay, we don't take damage. What are they good for then? Why is it three count? Did I lose some strength here? Oh, do they debuff me? They take away my buffs. Okay. All right, so we got to do that over. Let's go back into that one. I didn't even notice that. Okay, I'm going to change my setup once again. This time I'm going to bring in uh, Piglet here. And with Piglet, I can use more buffs where... My tribute buff was nice, it just was a little too much. And these guys don't have any defense buffs on them, so this is going to be pretty solid. So the first three hits are going to be pure buff, Smee, and then Nova, and then I'm going to use my Twilight Thorn and Psyx B. And that should be pretty much good game from here. Okay, so that's going to hit that for a ton of damage. 
I'm going to activate Nova, which is going to do more damage. And then Sykes B should be able to, to wipe out the rest. There you go. That is the next quest. Single target buffs are going to work out pretty nicely. Um, they're not really, I guess, available to all of you guys. You have to get lucky in pulls. But I don't think you need that much strength buffers. I was just trying to go for single hit buffers here. So that is number seven. Let's go to number eight. All right. Completely different setup. I went in, got ruined. Uh, that defense down was a terrible idea. So I don't have full SP on this. I'm going to kind of take a risk here. A lot of these medals are zero SP and one SP. So hopefully this setup works without getting ruined. The idea here is just to get my times three buffer, which is three of these medals. I do have other medals, but I don't want to put SP gauges on them. I'm trying to complete the Phil's Cup without wasting any skills that I haven't already put on medals. Uh, my Vexen B here actually has a defense boost 2 max on it, and it's going to raise my defense. Also, I got super lucky with extra attack. You guys might not, but maybe you kept separate uh, copies and you're using a times 2 buffer instead. Again, I'm just going to kind of go through this setup, uh, this whole fills cup with what I have. So 20 bars plus... Okay, okay, that's not too bad. It's going to take me about 5 more turns, and I should be able to take this guy out. With the Vex and B getting full buffs going on, it is going to last multiple turns. So I'm going to do a double cast of Vexen again, and I can stop wasting SP there. But with the zero SP medal, I'm actually getting a lot of SP back. So I'm just going to keep on auto battle and forget about it. I could skip right here. This is what I'm talking about. Because now it's going to last a couple turns. I can really, really max out my defense. And like I said before, you can bring a medal that can't be activated, but it has second chance on it. You guys can do that. So it's going to take quite a while. It's definitely going to take quite a while, but this one should work no problem. This is gonna, watch what the next hit's going to be. Yeah, see? It's just going to get better and better from here. Because now we're going to go from times 2 defense buff to times 4 to times 6. So we are going to have 6, 7 defense buff for full rotation, which is going to happen right now. Because, uh, again, the buff carries over for 3 or 4 turns, I believe. I think it's 4 turns, this buff right here. And this is pretty new. You guys don't need him guilted uh, for four turns. So we'll have full activation of this medal easily. And I don't think he's going to be able to scratch us at all. This is going to be one of my MVP medals. I know HPO is a lot better, but HPO is also a lot older. So I'm trying to stay away from that. So I'm going to skip to the end because I'm pretty sure after this hit, we're definitely not going to take any damage. I'll see you when this guy's near death. All right, so one thing, guys, is this boss actually restores a bunch of HP. I totally forgot about that. The Trickmaster Omega from the last high score challenge, it restores a lot of HP. So this took longer than I thought. So I took a little break while auto battle was on. And I'm talking to Metalcore, Maru, and everyone else in Discord right now. <laughs> so you guys are part of the video. Say hello to Metalcore and everyone in Discord. Uh, yeah, so anyways, this guy... Restores HP. This took so long, but here we go. This should be the end. I'm just gonna tick on Nova because I don't want to take any chances and Psyx B. Just, just, just end this. This was just a nightmare. I swear to God, I've been here for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I'm not doing that again. I'm gonna put proper buffs on. It's just ridiculous. So I'll see you in quest number eight or nine. <laughs> All right, quest number nine, Dark Side Omega, and I'm pretty sure that this is the one that restores. HP and also debuffs you so on and so on But of course, you know what? No, I'm gonna switch around my buff medals I'm these guys restore a lot of SP so I think I can kick in at least another strength buffer in there like piglet I'm gonna put in piglet and let's go back into this You know what? I'm also gonna add this metal here because I know the dark side has a buff like every turn and he gets stronger and stronger so I'm gonna take away his buffs and hopefully survive this. So times three strength buff and my defense plus a tribute and all the good stuff. This should work. And this is gonna take super long, but this should work. So let's go for the first round here. The first round. Let's see how much damage we do, and let's see how much we take away as well. He's got 131. Uh, I'm pretty sure he has a heal somewhere when he hits like 50 bars of HP, and also he has a debuff and he has a poison, and he's just he's just a really good raid boss. Like, incredibly good. Omega bosses are just something you don't want to mess with. You have to have the proper, uh, your your own buffs and everything. So, let's see what happens. Vexen is going to keep me alive with Defense Boost 2 Max, which is solid on that metal. And he is a Tier 3. Uh, Twilight Thorn. Not bad, but not amazing. And Psyx B from 131 down to 104. So, we're doing about 27 bars of HP. And we're going to take a hit of... Okay. 
We're definitely going to survive this. This is going to be a full run through. Um, I have no buffs on him, so that's good. I'm only buffing myself, which really complements this metal. Because if you have a debuff that carries over, uh, then he just removes it. So, I'm going to let this play through. If anything exciting happens, which I'm pretty sure it's not going to with Vexen and Defense Boost 2 Max. But if something exciting happens, I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys know. Alright, next turn is the turn we finish him off. As you guys can see, I can probably actually stop here and use Nova, but if you saw that last hit, he actually took no... I took no damage. Uh, Vexen along with... Maybe I should Strength buff here. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm probably going to like bite myself here because I didn't do a Strength buff with my Nova, which is a big no. Let's see if the taps work on Twilight Thorn. Alright, one tap. Yes, okay. So I saved up some SP there. But, with Vexen B and Defense Boost 2 Max, that was... Uh, Thank, thank you for putting auto battle in the game moment. That was something that just took way too long to survive. But we don't have to one turn stuff, which is great. I'm actually, tomorrow on my stream, I'm going to use my main account to try to one turn the whole event. Try to anyways. That's going to be the highlight of the event tomorrow for my stream. Is definitely one turning all of these. If I can. Something to really push the challenge up. But that's quest number 9. Let's go to quest number 10, which is the last quest of this video. And we're going to face the Behemoth Omega version. Alright, so I switched my setup around. Uh, a couple things about the Omega Behemoth. He actually paralyzes you randomly. It's not every turn he's going to do it. There's no pattern to it. Sometimes he'll, he'll paralyze you and sometimes he'll debuff you with your magic strength down and your power defense down. Now, to combat the magic strength down, I'm just going to use a power setup. Uh, the Trick Master here has a defense boost 2 max. He's here just for tapping. He's going to do some damage while he taps. Not going to activate him. Everything else here is to complement my power buffs and power damage. Because neutral damage is still pretty good damage. I only have a times 2 buffer here for the heal and the buff. I don't want to really use Illustrated Kairi yet. I want to see if I can go in with a times 2 buffer. That's going to take care of that. And then Dr. Joomba here is going to take care of the power defense. We only need to raise our power defense once per turn and we're in the clear. This is for a second healer and a buffer, not really removing any uh, buffs. He does not buff himself. The behemoth is just debuffer, and that's it. So, Axel straightforward is going to give us buffs. We're going to go into this, and we're going to nail this one, I'm pretty sure. Because you, once you know what the behemoth is doing, you pretty much can stop it. Just make sure you're healing every turn, and make sure you're buffing your defense every turn, or you're going to be taken out very quickly. Uh... Dr. Joomba is a little overkill. You don't need it. It's just a safety feature for when he does paralyze you that your defense is all not all the way down to negative two. Because the further the farthest this metal, I mean this enemy will take you down is to two power defense down. And with defense boost two max, you will survive. But if paralysis hits you and you don't heal, then you're pretty much screwed. So that's where the issue comes in. So as long as you're full HP, you guys are okay. Um, I should be okay on SP. If I'm not okay on SP, when he does paralyze me, I won't activate uh, Dr. Joomba. I'll skip him, and that way I'll save some SP. So right here, I don't really need the heal. I'm going to lose on a little bit of a buff, but that's all right, as long as my rotation continues. Because I do need the 5 SP for my Sag Speed, which is my main damage dealer. But eventually, I'm going to go for this. Uh, I'm just waiting until Paralysis hits here, so we can talk about that. Because that's probably the scariest part here, is Paralysis. So that's Paralysis right there. Obviously, if you have Pet Rank 4, the first Paralysis is no issue. So since we got Paralysis, I'm not going to raise my power defense. There's no there's no point. I'm just going to raise everything else. My strength. I want to be able to do the most damage possible as, as soon as possible. So that way, I don't have to go through so much RNG. But you don't need to raise your defense every turn. Only when you already have one defense on you, that's when you need to stop. Uh, you're also your Nova is really good if you're running out of SP or you got paralyzed and you missed your heal Use your Nova to heal up because it will give you a little bit. So we are learning running low on SP Here's one defense down, which is is it's okay. It's not bad I'm also gonna slow down on some of my SP. I don't need to use this yet and I don't need to use a full rotation of this I do have to activate at least one to get my SP back, my sorry, my HP back, and also give me a nice buff. So we're at a good range right now. We are, we do have enough to always activate our Sykes here. It's running really close. Can't really do much about that. I don't want to add an Iago yet or Chippendale. I want to try to go as little as possible here. The whole thing is just a proper rotation. So we're going to go down to two defense, and I want to show you guys that you can survive with defense boost two max. The thing is. 
if we have two defense now now and then he paralyzes us and we didn't restore all our hp we're pretty much done so i'm still safe not to raise my defense i think i'm in a good position i'm gonna skip another buff of this i want to get my sp back slowly so when i get into that position where i have to activate dr joomba i'm okay and that's again is if i get paralyzed and i skip one of my heals if i skip one of my heals i need to raise my power defense asap if you had enough sp and the sp wasn't that big of an issue activate joomba every turn and you'll never have to worry about anything but obviously i have to worry because my sp management's terrible right now so here's paralysis that's gonna stick we got our first heal our first heal is good um we're down to one defense down i'm still paralyzed so what i'm what i'm actually gonna do here is not use dr joomba and pray for the best so again, Dr. Juma's not really needed. It's probably just better to put more buffs in there, to tell you the truth. But again, I don't want to take any chances here. I just I just brought it in just in case Defense Boost 2 Max was not enough. Which it clearly is. I'm more worried about that paralysis sticking. So maybe I should bring in something that cures my status ailments like a boo or uh, other metals as well. So it looks like we're in the clear. Uh, as long as we're full health every turn. We're pretty much safe, so I'll see you guys at the near the, the end of this boss, or end of this uh, <laughs> this enemy, this raid enemy. <laughs> so I just hit a point right here where I had to skip everything and only activate my heals. Uh, SP issue, and also I got paralyzed, so my heals got skipped except for one. And I was like, okay, you know what, I'm going to restore my SP back to full, and that's exactly what I did here. It's just I tapped with the Axel, I tapped with Saix, and I tapped with the Trickmaster. So I did no activations of power to fully get my SP back. That's another thing you guys can do. My uh, Trickmaster is going to do a good amount of damage, which is next turn. So I'm not going to activate him this turn. He, there's no way he's going to do uh, 16 bars of HP. So right here, I'm just going to go for a full rotation. Dr. Joomba was really not needed here. I just wanted to talk about him just in case he does help you guys out. Survive a couple hits to counter that debuff. But... To kill this guy faster would have been better, so try to go with RNG on your side and not bring Dr. Joomba. He was not needed at all. This was more than enough. Maybe bring in another attack metal, another buff metal. Maybe your Keyblade setup is better, but I'm just using like the bare minimum of what I have in my inventory. But there you go, guys. That is quest number 1 to 10 on the Phil's Cup. Pretty fun. I I'm actually really enjoying it. That was pretty cool to use all these old metals or metals I wouldn't use otherwise. Unless it was a certain situation. Especially after the debut banner we just had. Definitely these medals are not going to be used for quite a long time. My Fairy Stars Keyblade setup on this account is really, really nice. So, that's the number 1 to 10. From 11 to 15 is going to be a whole nother video. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the power level is going to just increase so high from this point. So, I'm going to save that for tomorrow. Uh, definitely not tonight. I got to go to bed after I edit this video another busy day tomorrow Hopefully, I'll be streaming tomorrow with you guys playing this on my main account finishing this off uh, Making other setups. Let's just hang out and try to do something maybe make some creative setups I know there's a lot of setups. I just want to do my free-to-play set my free-to-play account setup It's not gonna be the same as yours because if you haven't been playing for so long, you don't have certain medals. You have to rely on only on pull medals. So it's very, very specific. But if you guys want, leave your strategies down in the comment section for the rest of the community. Highly appreciated, especially what Keyblade you use, what was your skills on your medals, and what was your setup. So if you want to do that for everyone, let us know in the comment section. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.